So in this video, I want to uh, give you a tour of a full-featured cordless drill so that if you have to buy or borrow one, you're going to get the right kind. Um, so this would be called a, a drill driver with hammer drilling capabilities. Um, and so I guess I'll, I'll start here with um, this adjustable collar here. So that's a picture of a little drill bit. And when I have the drill set into this position, it's just a full lockup. So when the motor's connect, the motor is connected to the chuck and it's just gonna spin. And there's no slippage or anything like that. So for drilling, and most applications actually, you have the drill set to the drilling position. If I were to move this over, then what I have is an, is an adjustable depth feature. So basically, um, the drill will deliver a certain amount of torque and then no more. So it's delivering torque now. But you see, I'm holding it. The, the chuck isn't spinning. I've topped out on that particular setting. So this would be for driving screws to a consistent depth all the time. So the, the lower the number, this number two, it's hardly delivering any torque at all. It's very easy for me to stop it from turning. And, and if I turn it all the way up, Let's see if I can even stop it at all. I can, but I have to hold it hard. So that's the, when they talk about a drill driver, that's what they mean. They mean a drill that can drill in full lockup mode, and then a drill that has this depth clutch feature. That's the driver part. Now in this case, there's a little hammer here, and when I turn it there, I have full lockup, so it's not going to slip no matter what. But in addition to rotating, there's a kind of a hammer motion. And that's very useful when you're drilling masonry. Because if I just have it in the regular position here, and I drill, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to get, now this is a brick, it's fairly soft, but I'm, I'm still not making very good progress. I'll spend all day doing that hole. But if I put it in hammer mode, you're going to hear the drill sounds different because it does this, this hammering action, as well as rotation, and it's much, much faster when it's drilling. See the difference? Just do that again. Regular drilling mode. I mean, it's going in, but not terribly fast. And like I said, this brick is soft. So if I was dealing with concrete block or poured concrete, the difference between hammer drilling and regular drilling would be even more stark. So, you can see there's quite a difference there. You'll probably be doing some drilling into masonry when you're finishing your basement, so that hammer drilling capability is pretty important. Uh, just a few other things. Nowadays, Cordless power tools exclusively have lithium ion batteries. Previous generations of batteries were um, nickel cadmium mostly, and um, they're not great batteries. They don't have a long service life. They discharge slowly on the shelf. So after six months of storage, your battery, you go to get your tool, your battery's flat. Um, lithium ion stores more energy in a smaller space. It doesn't self discharge at all really, or very, very little. And uh, it's a smart battery too. So for instance, I press this button. See, I've got three quarters of a tank, so to speak, of energy in this battery. And um, they can operate when it's cold without damage. Um, if you've had bad experiences with cordless tools in the past, um, the new world of lithium ion tools, which is across the board, across all brands, is really going to surprise and impress you, and um, yeah, it's just it's just the way to go. Uh, one other thing here, um, just this. Almost all drills have this. It's it's like a low gear and high gear setting. So for drilling in, certainly in metal, and sometimes in masonry, you'd want a slower speed. So that's slow speed on the low gear setting. So you're going to have more power, slower speed. Faster, faster speed, lower power. 
Now this is a professional grade tool and a drill like this with you know some kind of a battery and a charger might be two or three hundred dollars. You can get a bargain basement consumer grade drill for maybe a hundred but um, in my experience the you, you pay a little bit more and you get a whole lot more tool when you get into the professional grade and you need to think of yourself as something of a professional when you're um, when you're finishing a basement, you're taking on some serious work and you don't want to shortchange yourself with substandard tools. So there you go. Cordless drill driver, hammer drill.